Well, today we are gonna talk about Honor 90, another mid-range smartphone. I know, most of the people don't wanna buy a mid-range smartphone. Everyone wanna get a flagship smartphone. But sometimes, due to budget issue, people have to go for a mid-range smartphone. And yeah, there is a segment who actually wanna get a mid-range smartphone because they don't have the requirements of all the flagship features which comes with a flagship smartphone. Whatever the reason is, if you're looking for a mid-range smartphone, then I think Honor 90 would be a very good choice. Because I have been using this Honor 90 for the past couple of weeks, even if I have access to all the flagship smartphones, I have used this one and I think I'm in love with this smartphone. Well, before we go through this review video, one request, if you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content. The first thing I like about this device is its appearance. It's really a very light device. It only weighs 183 grams. I have got the Diamond Silver Edition. This one comes with a glossy rear panel and yeah, the textures aren't like aesthetic. When you rub on the rear panel, you will feel it. This looks like a premium jewelry in my hand. Yeah, I know glossy rear panel means it's easy to have some smudges and fingerprints at the back, but I can live with that because this one actually offers a very nice alluring shades and this one shines like a diamond under different type of lights and shades. Honor has printed their brand name and the main sensor information on the left bottom corner of the rear panel. It's okay, this wording actually feels pretty nice. The rear camera block is similar to the predecessors, especially this one looks almost the same as Honor 70, with a bit of a tweak to make it much more trendy. If you are interested to know about the frame, yeah, Honor 90 comes with a plastic frame. I hope in future Honor will use a metal frame. Altogether, this smartphone actually looks pretty elegant and premium. It doesn't feel like a mid-range smartphone. On top, there is nothing but a secondary noise cancellation microphone. At the bottom, there is a speaker grill, USB-C 2.0 port, a primary microphone, and a SIM tray. This one comes with a compact SIM tray, so yeah, we actually cannot expand the storage. The volume rockers and the power button all are on the right side. There is nothing on the left side. It's a clean slate. Okay. Honor 90 comes with Snapdragon 7 Gen 1, but this one is a tweaked version. This one is an accelerated edition of Snapdragon 7 Gen 1, which comes with a faster core speed. Honor 90 is equipped with LPDDR4X RAM and UFS 2.2 storage. If you wanna go through the specifications, you can pause the video and check by yourself. Well, the first thing I have liked about this Honor is its outlook and appearance. But after I have started using this one, I have fell in love with the display panel. I mean, among all the budget and mid-range smartphones, this 6.7-inch AMOLED FHD Plus panel of Honor 90 is one of the best. This one supports 120Hz refresh rate and can reproduce 1 billion colors. It can offer up to 1600 nits peak brightness. That means a lot. Truly, many other mid-range devices doesn't even go beyond 1200 nits. Color calibration of this display panel is very good. Premium quality. Black is truly dark, white is very bright, colors are vivid and vibrant, yet pretty natural. And you know what? This Honor 90 comes with 3840 Hz PWM, pulse width modulation. This Honor 90 is the world's first smartphone to have 3840Hz PWM. It means the smartphone enters zero-risk dimming area. It can protect our eyes and offers an enjoyable user experience. If you really want to know my opinion about the display panel, then I would say I'm ready to give this display panel 9 out of 10. Because this display panel actually performs like a flagship display panel and this one can be a very good choice for consuming entertainment. Talking about entertainment, we also need to listen to sound when we consume entertainment. Yeah, this Honor 90 comes with a bottom firing single loudspeaker and okay, I have been actually expecting a stereo speaker setup. But anyway, this bottom firing single loudspeaker actually performs very good.
personally, I don't prefer Unto the Benchmark. They always updates, changes, and there are a lot of things which actually doesn't add up. And most of the time, Unto the Benchmark score doesn't convert into real life performance. Anyway, if you wanna check Unto the score, here comes the result. This Honor 90 has managed to get more than 700,000 in Antutu 10, which is a very nice, I think I should say, this is an amazing score. But as I always prefer to check 3D Merc the Gamer's benchmark, I ran Wildlife Extreme Stress Test and Honor 90 has managed to get 863 as its highest loop score. If I am slightly disappointed about the highest loop score, then okay, I'm really super satisfied to check the stability rate. This one has a stability rate of 97.3%, which is much higher than what I have expected, and this is really way better than many other, almost any other mid-range smartphones. It's a mid-range smartphone. I mean, this Honor 90 truly belongs to the mid-range segment as this one comes with Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 Accelerated Edition SoC, I don't think we can expect too much from this one. But in real life, this one has performed like a beast. There is no such throttling. Me and Tia, we have played Genshin Impact for hours after hours, and we have got very high frame rate. Not only that, we have got very stable frame rate. I was a bit worried at the beginning that maybe the frame rate would go a bit wide I mean, I was expecting that the frame rate would drop like after an hour of gameplay, but this Honor 90 has managed to deliver very stable frame rate for hours after hours. After playing games for almost two hours, yeah, I felt like the rear panel has become a bit warm, but it has never generated that type of heat. Thanks to its 4483mm square VC vapor chamber, this one has a very good thermal management. Personally, I have enjoyed playing games on this Honor 90 and as I see that Tia has also enjoyed playing games on this smartphone, I can say without any hesitation that you won't regret playing games on this one. Well, this is the segment which Honor has touted a lot about. They have been talking about the main camera performance because this one comes with a 200 megapixel Samsung ISOCELL HP3 main sensor. This one also has two other sensors, a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor which has macro enabled and a 2 megapixel depth sensor which is nothing but a gimmick. Well, I need to mention that there is no OIS and no telephoto lens. I have tried to take some photos of Tia with this Honor 90 side by side with some other mid-range smartphones and well, Personally, I'm satisfied as I always do camera comparison videos as I have access to a lot of flagship devices. Truly, I actually didn't even expect half of the performance what Honor 90 has offered. This one grabs a lot of details, processed textures with clarity, and the video performance is even crisp and clear. As this one doesn't come with OIS, I was worried about jitteriness, but this one has offered very stable video quality along with very very good portrait performance. I will let you watch through some photos and videos, you decide by yourself. Hasn't Honor 90 beaten Xiaomi 13? It has, right? This video is brought to you by Pitaka. I have been using Pitaka Mac Easy Slider 2 for a while now. Actually, I have been using Pitaka Mac Easy Slider for the past couple of years. The Mac Easy Slider 1, then this Mac Easy Slider 2. These are part of my life. Because this one is the best Mac safe accessory that I have ever used. And this one offers the fastest charging speed. This one supports 3-in-1 wireless charging. And this one also comes with a rotating base along with a detachable power bank. If you are looking for the best iPhone MagSafe accessory, then you should check Pitaka. Honor 90 comes with a 5000mAh battery and provided me 8 hours of screen on time. That's really a massive thing because 8 hours of screen on time, I think I can't even remember which other smartphones, I mean especially mid-range smartphones can provide that type of battery life. As this one comes with a 66 watt charger inside the box, this one takes around 50 minutes to get fully charged. 
it comes with Widevine L1 certification. So yeah, we can happily enjoy HD streaming without any issue on any platform that we like. Honor 90 comes with Magic UI skin on top of Android 13. Magic UI 7.1 is better than what Honor smartphones used to have before, but personally, I'm not very fond of this skin. Anyway, I have no complaint about the OS or user interface as it is so smooth and there is a RAM expansion option so we can expand the RAM. I wish Honor will actually do some research and development and they will make the future Magic UI OS a bit more user friendly. Well, Honor 90 comes with an optical in-display fingerprint sensor. As this is a mid-range smartphone, I didn't expect this type of performance. This optical in-display fingerprint sensor performs so well. It's a very easy to register fingerprint and once a fingerprint is registered, it's really super fast. It almost takes no time to unlock the phone. If you're interested, then yeah, this one also comes with a 2D face unlocking option and that one also performs very well. Okay, at the beginning, I've mentioned this clearly. Some people don't want to buy a mid-range but ends up getting a mid-range device due to a lot of issues. Maybe financial issue or maybe unavailability of a phone or maybe for some other reason. But if you really want to get a mid-range smartphone, then I think I have no problem recommending this Honor 90. Especially if you want to have the feel that you have a premium flagship in your hand, then Honor 90 is really a very good choice.